Kristen. Today we're going to show you how I, we get taught into bed, but Sarah's going to demonstrate. I'm going to demonstrate with the sling with her. Now, the first thing we do, Todd rolls up in his wheelchair and we put the sling behind him. It's a little trickier since he can't lean forward. And then we attach it to the overhead lift. This is a Voyager overhead lift. In one of our other videos, we show one in our bathroom. We used to have one unit that we transferred between two tracks, one in the bathroom, one in the bedroom. But my mom got a little nervous about seeing me climb on the bed, climb on a step stool, and decided it was an accident waiting to happen. And she bought us a second one, which makes life a lot easier. So the important thing when strapping someone in is to put the colors on the same or put the straps on the same color on either side and then to remember to crisscross the legs so the person doesn't fall out and I'm just kind of putting it kind of tight here with Sarah but have to figure out what's best for your person depending on how big they are This is a little bit different than what we do with Todd because his leg isn't that um, flexible. All right, up we go. There's a remote on this thing too. And even though Todd's twice Sarah's weight, he still slides really easily into the bed. Then we lower him in the middle. <laughs> and remove the straps. for positioning. So then to remove the sling, we first roll Todd, who's twice this weight. So Sarah, just let me do the work here. You stay still, pretend you can't move. You bend one leg up, bend it over a little, bend him, turn. Let me turn you, Sarah. And then scrunch the sling underneath, roll back, and take it out from the other side. The cool thing that we found was an Alexa compatible adjustable bed. And this is consumer grade, not medical grade. So while it's expensive, a couple thousand dollars, it's not medical expensive. So, and then we put a, um, Select Comfort Air Mattress on top. That's what we used to have on our king size bed when Todd and I had a bed together and um, we just love it. So we have that mattress on top of that adjustable base. Do you wanna demonstrate yeah. some of the features? Hey, tell my bed zero G. Okay, I'm putting your bed into zero G. It feels really cool. Hey. Tell my bed, turn on massage. Okay, I'm starting the massage. <laughs> flat. Hey, tell my bed, flat. Okay, I'm putting your bed into the flat position. Tell my bed to 
Ray's headboard. Okay, here's dog talk. What's your dog's name? You can say <laughs> things like... <laughs> bomb. Tell my bed, Ray's headboard. Ray's headboard. Ray's headboard. <laughs> Ray's headboard. Ray's headboard. Ray's headboard. Okay, here's Ergomotion smart bed. Okay, I'm raising your head. So there's also these functions on the remote where you can turn on a vibration massage on the head or the feet, raise the headboard even more. Oh, that's the lumbar support right there I'm raising. Here's the headboard more. And this was really useful when Todd had a cold and he needed to be more sitting up. And then there's um, raising footboard. So it's pretty cool. He's not able to, um, he's not able to obviously turn side to side, so he still needs some nighttime assistance, but this gives him more independence for longer stretches, which is good. Also use the smart speaker to play music. Here's a station you might like, Ultimate Jazz on Amazon Music. <laughs> quiet. And Todd can listen to music at night and has some independence there, which helps with anxiety when he can control that. So that is our bedroom. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our blog, Neva Story, and follow us. We hope to do some more videos in the future.